Hey guys, it's Monday night, so we're going to do a bit of an update about the current situation with Holly and talk about what we're going to be doing as a video on Friday. Now, as you know, there's some uh, the problem with Holly, it's explained in the previous video uh, about some um, bullying that's been going on, um, and she's obviously left school now, so you've been, uh, you started homeschooling her, haven't you? I have, yeah. And you signed up to an online course. And you get online tutors, don't you? Yeah. So. so you can ring them whenever you need to when you're struggling and stuff. Just It's just for her maths and English for now. And then she's using uh, the National Oak Academy um, website for some of her other subjects as well. So, yeah. So she's done her maths and her English today. And we had a look at Spanish again. Mm. That's a bit. That's quite difficult, our Spanish, to be fair. Yeah, I, I never learned Spanish. No, um, it's quite. It's hard to pronounce the words. It, yeah. it like plays in. You got to say it back, yeah. and it's quite. <laughs> it's quite difficult. So I can't really comment because no. But Holly's been to Spain twice, hasn't she? She's With been dad, to yeah. um, um, Barcelona. Yeah, she went and to... Salou, I think it was. Salou. Yeah, I think it was Salou. Okay. Went. Yeah. I've never With actually. Dad. I've never actually been to Spain. Uh, I've been to France. Mm. I've been to Italy. Um, and Austria, but I've never been to uh, to Spain. Have you been to Spain? No, I've never been abroad, Pat from Ireland. And Guernsey. In Germany with school. Well, in That's Germany it. as well. <laughs> yeah. so I've been to a few places, but um, yeah. It. But I have noticed that Holly seems a little bit happier. She's a lot brighter. Over the last few days, yeah, since yeah. she's left. Um, obviously, she doesn't have all these, these kids now to give her a hard time. That's good. So. Yeah, it is, it is. It is a positive. So that's um, that's something that we're obviously going to take forward. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she's she's doing okay. She's a lot happier, and she's getting okay with her homeschooling. And the other thing I was going to talk to you about is our new diet. Now um, I may be having surgery at some point uh, over this this coming year, um, so I'm well overweight. And if I do have surgery, I've got to lose like two and a half to three stone so we've taken some drastic measures haven't we we've tried dieting and it just doesn't seem to work uh, so we're trying to um, it's called intermittent fasting and uh, I've been doing it now about a week and a half yeah and I've been doing it since um, when did I start a few days ago Thursday yeah um, Friday, but we start. Your Friday. I started off what's with what's called eighteen six. Now it's based around the twenty four hour clock. Um, the first uh, figure refers to the, the amount of fasting hours, and the second figure uh, refers to the amount of hours for your eating window. And together, they oh they add up to twenty four. So um, eighteen six is eighteen hours fasting and six hours eating. Now the trick is to have your sleeping hours as the part of your fasting hours mm. so I eat from say um, four o'clock till midnight. Well I do the same as well. Mm. Yeah four o'clock until midnight is that 18 at the time and then we fast until four o'clock the next day. Yeah. Um, so all, all we've got to do is fast from say half seven when we get up uh, till um, till four o'clock mm. um, but I've, I've taken it further haven't I? You've gone a bit longer haven't you? Yeah I'm now doing uh, 19. Was it 19 or 20? 19 five. Right. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's 19 hours fasting and, uh, you know, five hours eating. So I'm, I'm doing okay with that, aren't I? I did 17 yeah. hours yesterday. Mm. And I could have done it again today, but I didn't have much to eat last night. Yes, did we really? No. I didn't. And I woke up this morning absolutely starving. Didn't break it. Just had a black coffee with a bit of salt in it to take the bitterness out. Been drinking water. Mm. And um, that's it, really. Yeah. Until uh, I had to break it, I had to... At four o'clock, I had to have something yeah. to eat. Yeah, that's the thing. You got to withstand the uh, the hunger. It gets to a point where you stop feeling hungry, mm. and uh, and then it becomes quite easy. Um, but I, I found it easier than what I suspected it would be. Yeah, uh, I really struggled for the first day. I thought, oh god, I'm gonna really struggle. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna do a couple of hours, and I'm gonna mm. quit. And the secret is not to eat anything at all because if, as soon as you start to eat a can't eat, stop even the slightest <laughs> thing uh your body will start producing insulin your blood sugar will drop and you'll start feeling really really hungry and mm. faint straight away mm. so you can't you can't eat anything with calories in it and that includes putting milk in your tea or anything like that you want no. to drink something it's got to be black. water black tea black coffee it can't be anything else i've no lost sugar. i've lost five pounds 
Have you lost five pounds now? Five or six pounds in weight. I'm, I'll weigh myself tomorrow. I'm yeah. Not. Last way myself last two Tuesday. Weeks. Less than two weeks. Yeah. I was actually 12 stone four last Tuesday. Mm. So I'll weigh myself again tomorrow yeah. and see. I think you'll have lost something. You think? Yeah. I've also tried eating keto as well. So when we do eat, we tend to eat like uh, meat and vegetables and try and cut out all carbohydrates. But it's not always that easy to do. No. Um, but... <laughs> We are going to have a go. I was going to be good and have sausage and mash for my tea tonight. It's Until I realised there were no bumming potatoes, so I ended up having sausage, chips and beans. It's not so bad really, because, you know, if you've been fasting all day, you can allow yourself a little bit of a treat at yeah. night time. Um, because there's only so much you can eat in five or six hours anyway. Yeah. Um, so you can't really eat that many calories. Even if you like think to yourself, oh, I can eat whatever I want now. You'll get so full because your stomach's been empty all yeah. day. So you'll get so full so easily. Uh, even if you want to eat as much as you, you can, you can you, you can't really you fit can't much in. <laughs> so it helps with the. With no, the I had a few crackers because mm. uh, we did have a well. We got a Chinese, didn't we, last night? Yeah. And um, after 17, 18 hours of fasting, not eating anything, but it was like we got like healthy stuff, didn't we? Like stir fry things. And yeah. Stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so I had there was some prawn crackers, so I just had them to break my fast. Mm. And, you know, I only had a few and then I felt full. Yeah. For about another two hours after that, I couldn't eat. I thought I can't have any tea yet because I just felt bloated. It doesn't take much, does it? No. And that's a good thing about it. You know, you, your stomach gets used to being... Um, empty. <laughs> yeah. Empty. So uh, it doesn't take much to, to, to fill it, really. No. So, uh, yeah. So we're gonna, gonna keep it, obviously keep updated of how we're going with that. Um, on Friday, maybe do some um, recipe ideas. We'll show some of the keto uh, food that we do, and uh, we'll talk to you more about our weight loss mm -hmm. and how much weight we've lost. Um, so, but yeah, I will be potentially having surgery uh, later this year, so I do need to lose the weight. Um, but I think this is going to be a good way, way of doing it. Mm -hmm. I, think we're on the I mean, right I never track. used to eat a lot during the day anyway, to be fair. Mm. Very rarely at breakfast anyway, because I ha I just don't feel hungry in the morning, first thing in the morning. No. And I never, or wasn't having like, I was having like a late breakfast lunch mm. at about 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, it doesn't really bother me really, to be honest. No. It's night time that's the worst, was the worst for me. That's the thing, see, some people, the, um, they fast uh, towards the evening and night time. And then start eating again, like lunchtime the next day. Well, I, we can't do that, can no. we? Because we get so hungry at night time. So it's easy for us to withstand hunger during the in, day. In, in, in the daytime. It is at night time. And eat at night, the new way around. Mm. Um, because at night time, it is, oh, I just I couldn't do it. <laughs> we sit there it. watching TV and we're like, oh, God, yeah. I'm a bit peckish. I know. <laughs> and the worst thing, even worse than that, is actually trying to sleep on an empty stomach. Yeah. This way, um, we can eat until we've got to bed. Yeah. Uh, so we can sleep on a full stomach. So yeah. that's, that, that helps a lot. But, uh, oh, sleeping on an empty stomach, it's awful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried sleeping on an empty stomach. Yeah, it's, and it's rumbling. It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm. oh. So that must be much rumbling again now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't take much, does it? I don't know. I have yeah. three sausages. Yeah. Some chip, well, some fries and some beans. Yeah. And I had leftover chives from last night. Yeah. But I've been, I've been on a fast and day, so... And I'm to get a bit hungry again, though. I can allow myself a little treat. Um, but, yeah. But once you start, you can't stop. No. So, anyway, guys. We'll show some but of our recipes. But it's sensible as well. We're doing yeah. fruit as well, don't we? We're sitting until oh, yeah. we eat fruit as we'll well. We'll try and make sure we get our five a day. Uh, that's really important. Yeah. But as I say, we'll show you some recipes on Friday and show you what we've been eating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, obviously keep you give you a bit update on Holly as well and let yeah. you know how she's getting on okay so guys yeah anything else you want to add to that yeah. I don't think no Nothing. Nothing so. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay then guys uh, thank so. you very much for watching our video oh, I just want to say oh. as well yeah I just remembered <laughs> then actually uh, a big thank you for all your support and messages that we've oh, got yes. for Holly uh, we are trying to go through there's so many so we, I am we are trying to go through them all one by one so there's a lot isn't there there's is a lot to catch up with can't yeah. reply them all straight so, away um, but we will yeah. be doing but so. thank you so much it means a lot yeah that we've got the support and she's got the support and stuff so yeah so a lot of you have spent a lot of time writing some really beautiful yeah. uh, messages so 
Uh, we do appreciate that. Yeah, I want to say thank you for that very yeah. much indeed. Yeah. And we will get back to you. If we will if, if we haven't replied you. already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice week. And we'll see you on Friday. Yeah, I'm going to say Monday then. It's Monday today. <laughs> no. No, Friday. <laughs> Friday, yeah. <laughs> see you on Friday, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye.